So changes are coming to the real estate market after a settlement with the National Association of Realtors and Sellers. We're going to talk about the legal aspect mm -hmm. of it. The association agreeing to pay $418 million over four years. The deal was to end landmark antitrust lawsuits, so this will have a significant ripple effect when it comes to buying and selling homes. It'll affect home prices. Let's talk about the legal aspect of it with our legal analyst, Whitney Traylor. So I think a lot of people are looking at this, uh, whether they're thinking about being a buyer or seller or yeah. both. But that massive verdict last year, yeah. tell us about how this works, antitrust settlements in right. general. Give us a broad brush. Right. So the notion behind antitrust is that if you have a conglomerate, if you have essentially a monopoly or only one or two major players in the industry, then that lessens competition and that essentially hurts consumers because you're not providing a good service. And what they were saying in this lawsuit that was ultimately they got a $1.8 billion verdict that now has led to these settlements is they're saying that, look, you know, if anybody's bought or sold property, it's just kind of baked in. They call it a cooperative compensation rule or a participation rule which says that as the seller if I'm selling my home to Kim she doesn't pay a fee or she doesn't pay her her buyer's agent a fee but I pay that out of you know the proceeds from the sale so essentially it's five to six percent and so what happens is I pay you know my broker a commission and then they split that and so what they're saying is because that was already baked in that that's it's it, like price antitrust. Yeah, essentially, will. yeah, exactly. And that was in, in the reason they did that was so that the house could be listed on the MLS. And that's the argument is like, hey, we're paying these fees so that it can be on the MLS and have more exposure to buyers. So the argument from the NR, NAR was the National Association of Realtors is that, hey, we're doing a service by actually paying this fee. Now, the issue, though, is that really wasn't negotiable. I mean, I've done a number of uh, real estate deals, and, and my broker, who, who are friends, would say, hey, I'm going to reduce this because right. of the amount of business or whatever. So you could do that. But the reality is the majority of these deals just went through with that set commission put in the uh, on the seller side. Yeah, I know a lot of people that you know, you go through a friend or somebody and then you hopefully negotiate. But this thing hasn't really been like the court has to sign off on it, right? right? Yeah, so, so is mm -hmm. everybody in real estate right now going <laughs> yes and no, because they settled. So there were this this case. So the, the, there were a number of cases that happened last year and that were actually filed. And what happened was in the Missouri case, they got a one point eight billion dollar verdict against a number of different Remax, Keller Williams, the National Association of Realtors and all these folks. And what happened was after that, a number of them settled. So Keller Williams paid 70 million. Um, uh, Remax paid 55 million, and now the National Association of Realtors is saying we're going to pay 418 million over four years to settle it. But the court has to approve it, and this was a class action lawsuit that involved, I think, 500,000 class members. And so I think the court will likely approve it. But even if they don't, the National Association of Realtors has said we're already changing. We're going to do things. We're going to change things starting in July. Yeah, the 418 million really does take a back seat to most people's concept of what real estate sales are going to look like going forward. Mm -hmm. So the idea being, is this settlement changing everything permanently or are there more shoes to drop as far as this, how this will work? Well, and that's a great point. That's why we actually had the settlement because once they won that verdict, they immediately started filing multiple lawsuits against different defendants in different jurisdictions and they're calling them copycat. And so I think we would have seen the same results. So this settlement essentially resolves all of those cases from around the nation. So the industry, I, I saw some experts, some uh, economists that said this is a $100 billion industry and they suspect this may reduce that, uh, um, their profits by about 30 percent. And you may see now less real estate agents in the game. And there's actually, for example, Redfin said they're just going to get off the uh, MLS and they're going to start focusing on seller side. So uh, th this could affect um, agents, particularly on the buyer side. There's going to mm. be a lot yeah, to follow about this. So and, and to, another yeah. evolution as we yeah. started to see so many homes, you know, being shopped and sold on online, the Zillows, the Redfin, right. and others. So, yeah. but this certainly changes things again. Uh, yeah. Whitney, we'll be talking about it again, I bet. But All thanks right. for helping us out today. Sure thing. Good to see you. All right. You too.